Hey, what's up guys? This is Wyatt. <clears throat> I haven't been making videos recently because I uh, busted the camera on my phone. Well, busted my phone. The screen on my phone is shattered. I'm using it right now because uh, I, I, the back the back camera on the on the phone works, but the front one I've had to do a little bit of work on, you know, clear out some broken glass and stuff and then kind of put on a makeshift cover. And uh, hopefully I'll, it'll be able to work. I get another upgrade here in like a month and a half. But um, I had a question about Floyd Roses. How do you keep them in tune? What you should do setting them up. This is a bitch, okay? At least the first time that you're doing it, this is, this is why it's a bitch. Okay. So bring it over this way so I can show you the top of it. Okay, so when you're when you're dealing with the Floyd Rose, biggest things you want this straight across with the body. You don't want it, you know, pushing down like this. You don't want it up. You want it nice and flush like that. Okay, and um, so to get your action, basically wherever you know with the neck relief and everything. Once you do that kind of stuff. Wherever you want your action, you just um, basically raise these up and down to get the action higher or lower. You don't, it's not about, you know, arcing it up like this because that, yeah, that'll make your action higher and stuff, but it's, that's what makes the tuning unstable because it's kind of, it's not, the strings are making this pull against these poles nice and straight, okay? When it's up or down like that, the strings are, it, it's not pulling straight against it. It's pulling kind of up, trying to pull up over it. So you got to get it flush like this. And then, you know, once you figure out what tuning you're going in, you know, uh, what size strings you use, like me, I use um, their a custom set, they're 56 to 10. So it's like 56, 44, 32, 17, 13, 10, something like that. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's right, actually. Weird. <laughs> but um, yeah, get that to where it needs to be, nice and flush. Now nah, it's a, bit, a little better focus. And then this is the part that gets people. Okay. So, you know, um, get it up to into the heights you want it. And then, you know, every time you try to get it into the tuning that you want it, when the, when the bridge is arcing upwards, which it will, cause you're tightening it, arcing upwards, Incrementally, not all at once, but incrementally, tighten this. Both these screws. Make sure that you're tight tightening them at the same ratio, okay? So that not so you don't have one pushing in and one sticking out still. You need to have them flush too. Everything about keeping a Floyd Rose in tune is about keeping everything nice and flush and you know in sync with itself, okay? Um, these are a higher tension spring, so I used to have, I think, five in here. I used to have them all going straight across. I couldn't even fucking do any dive bombs or anything with that because it was so much tension, so I just put back into three and then moved this forward for more tension, and it's worked out phenomenally. I have this piece of foam down there so these don't, you know... So they don't ring when I, you know, I'm playing guitar and stuff. Because you can hear that kind of shit through your amp. That's a bitch. Look at the tiny bridge block on here too. I just want to point that out. It's funny to me. Got all this space back here. <laughs> and tiny little bridge block. But yeah, so incrementally tightening that up more and more and more. As and like I said, you don't want this sinking down, so don't tighten it too much. But you know. 
incrementally over and over and over, tune it up, tune it up, and then tighten that and tighten that, and then get it to where it's nice and flush like this. Perfect like that. While you're doing this, do not keep these tightened down, <laughs> by the way. Um, it's another thing. Have them, have them sitting on so the strings will stay in place, but don't tighten them down. Just kind of, you know, finger tighten, not really even tighten them, just kind of put them down. And then do your thing. Um, these, when you're tuning up your guitar, um, just make sure that all of these are nice and centered, you know, so you have either way you go, you, you can tighten them or loosen them, but you're in midpoint of the, the screw end on them. You see what I'm saying? So you're not having to fuss with them, you know, so you get a, cause when you tighten these locks down, no matter if you were in perfect tune before, just because of the tension that they're going to put on the nut up here, the strings are going to go a little bit out of tune, just a bit. So the, this is what these fine tuners are for, to kind of just get them to where it needs to be. So make sure those are all nice and flush, and but uh, in their midpoints. And then, uh, yeah, I'm like this is not a, this is a licensed Floyd Rose. This is not an original Floyd Rose. And so that myth of, oh, you have to have a real Floyd Rose. You have to have... No, you don't. You just have to know how to fucking use them. And if you know how to use them, you can pretty much get any of them to work. Because uh, this thing works just as well as any other original Floyd Rose I've ever used. And it's honestly a little bit easier to work with because the uh, the saddle blocks... Are right here that's this is where you get to them with the allen wrench instead of on the back back here pressed up against the back of the guitar and shit <clears throat> when you're changing strings and um this is after you've got it all set up nice and perfect it's good to go you know that problem comes oh shit i need to change strings when you're changing strings find some sort of block or you know something to either put underneath here that's where i do it some people put it you know in in here whatever uh, it's better to put it underneath right here it's because it's not going to fall out when you're doing shit um and uh keep that there while you're putting the strings on and doing different stuff with them because it'll kind of keep that bridge where you want it so you can kind of tune the strings up to where it's at and then see where the tension's at when you let it off, bring it out and stuff. It's a lot easier to do it like that. Um, but once you got it set up the right way, it should work perfectly. I mean, there's really no reason why it shouldn't unless you just have faulty equipment. And sometimes that is the case, but most of the time it's just faulty workmanship by the person that's using it. So, um, learn how to use them. Obviously, I love Floyd Roses, but the one thing is the intonation is kind of stupid because you can't really intonate them while the strings are on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to do you got to kind of guess where it should be and move the saddles around when the strings are off. But whatever. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically really all you need to do. Um some people, you know, like to have their springs straight across. I normally do, but just because of me normally having, um, you know, uh, more springs on the back, this just kind of puts a little bit more tension on the outside ones. So, um, yeah, get the get this nice and even over the top of it. I mean, if it's just a, a tiny hair like this is, like just a tiny bit sunken or, you know, whatever, it's really not going to make a huge difference. Just make sure it's not, you know, like that or, you know, just freakishly out of whack because that's when you're going to have tuning problems. You do dive bombs and stuff and it's just not going to work. Um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, uh, this answers your questions and, um, Hopefully I'll be able to make some more videos and stuff. Um, I think I have a couple other things to 
couple other videos to make for some other people. But uh, stay in tune and keep playing. Bye.